Hey y'all, I'm back and thank you so much for tuning in. Right now I'm just starting to prep my lips with some Carmex, nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to go on to prepping my face. I'm going to use Smashbox, their photo finish primer. I love this stuff, one, because it makes me look like I have no pores and it helps me not be greasy. Next, I'm going to use the new MAC foundation that just came out. Now, this is my summer color. My summer color, it's NC60. Um, so I mixed it with a little NC50 and it is actually amazing. It's more of a neutral color so I don't turn orange um, and I really, really love that. I'm just going to blend all of this foundation out with a Real Techniques foundation buffer brush. Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC powder. And this I'm going to use with a foundation brush. I'm just patting this in in order for me to not get greasy, like I said. I am very oily, so I have to take special precautions. Next is my next favorite from MAC. It's their Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer. I was very skeptical with trying this because some of their MAC products can make me look a little orange and yellow, but this is absolutely amazing. This stuff, you only need a little bit and it goes so far. Now remember, please use a little bit. This stuff does spread just like any other type of makeup and you can use your blending brush or any type of sponge or beauty blender to blend it on out. Next, I am going to use a pointed brush and my Sacha Buttercup powder to set all that area. If you look, I am not going to pack on tons of this powder. I'm going to put some in and press it into my skin. This is going to help to soak up any oils and to also set that concealer that I already put on, but it is not not what I call baking. I'm pressing in just a little bit of powder just to set under those eyes and then we're gonna leave that alone, okay? and there's a contour palette this is amazing for all skin types you can use it for under your eyes you can use it for your contour you can use it if you want to start a client kit it is absolutely amazing and the price is even more amazing guys I really do recommend this product this is my third one of their palettes and I also have it in my client kit just in case I need it um, like I said it's absolutely amazing and you see that contour it is popping okay now I'm just taking that brush I used earlier um, that powder brush and now I'm, there's no product on it I'm just going over my whole face and blending it out taking off any excess powder I don't need blending any powder out that maybe you know didn't settle in yet and this is just gonna give me that fresh you know, face that I need. Next is the Anastasia Glow Kit. I actually got this from Marshall, guys. Um, I love this palette because it's very universal and, you know, I can use it with all different types of looks. This one, those two that I just pointed to are usually my go-tos when I'm doing a neutral look that I, you know, really don't need to go all crazy with. But if you pack this on and use more than one color, you can get a glow out of this world. Next is also an Anastasia Beverly Hills product. It is their Dip Brow in the color Ebony. You have to find the thinnest angle brush that you can find, ladies, okay? Um, I'm actually not even going to conceal underneath my eyebrows because my brush is so thin and precise that I just draw my eyebrows, I take it really slow, I draw a line underneath, then I draw a line on top, I fill them on in, and I keep it pushing. That is how I get this 30 minute look because I don't have to go back and conceal underneath my eyebrows. 
it's not completely perfect and completely crisp like you would want on like a beat beat but when I mean you're gonna get to work on time you're gonna get to work on time color just to kind of brush all over my lid I'm going to use this same brush throughout all of this blending okay now I'm going to get a little darker in the orange area just I'm getting closer and closer to my bottom lid guys my lash line um, like I said 30 minutes you got to keep it simple now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker brownish orange keeping it closer to my lash line every time I use a different color a darker color I'm going closer now I'm going to wet a pointed small brush with anything that you have it could be water it could be mac mineralized spray it could be a finishing spray and i'm going to go in with a shimmer off of that palette this is how i'm going to get my cut crease guys you have to take your time with this just a little bit because you're not using concealer you're not just going to pack it on so you're going to pack this on i'm using two to the second color now and you're gonna pack it on and that's how you're gonna get your cut crease you're, you don't have time to do all those extra steps we got 30 minutes we gotta get to work so this is how I do it keep that brush wet make sure you keep it wet and make sure that you're taking your time everything else will fall into place okay all right ladies we're going to now talk about our wing liner I love this liner because it is really thick and it goes exactly where you put it okay like I said you gotta find that really really thin um, angle brush and you will be able to achieve this look you have to learn your eye um, shape also that will help you with your wing liner and lastly you just gotta practice practice makes perfect I look at some of my old flashbacks on Facebook and I'm like oh who let me walk out the house like that but you know practice 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 um, I'm keeping this very very simple and like I said it is very thick so you may have to go back and put a little bit more on but that really helps so that your liner is not all over the place and then you have to go back and um, touch it up now I'm just gonna stick some lashes on my eyes I hate this part guys I hate it you know just push it into the middle of your eyelid shake it around a little bit make sure that it's on there and then you get the rest of it on there by pushing it towards and as close to your lash line as you can all right guys we are all done 30 minutes and that's all we have time to go to work see you guys later